Book reviews are extremely vital for a book's success because the more reviews a book has, the more attention it'll get. But can negative book reviews hurt your book's chance of success? When should you worry about negative book reviews and when should you see them as a blessing? Stick around to find out. Hey guys, Noor here and welcome back to my channel. For those visiting for the first time, hello, I'm the fantasy author of the novel Divinity Falling. Be sure to subscribe for weekly writing advice videos. Today we're talking about book reviews. I chose this topic because I think it's very important for writers. How people perceive our books can affect us. I hate to say it, but it's true. Us writers, we like to act tough sometimes and say that what readers think doesn't matter because writing is subjective. But deep down, even the most cold-hearted writer feels like they were punched in the gut if a reader doesn't like their writing. So it's a very, very important topic that we should all address. Before I dive in, I just want to point out that this video is for writers who have a completed book and have worked hard to make sure that it's as perfect as possible. This means that their book went through several drafts and professional editing before it was given to readers. If you're a writer who hasn't done these steps or hasn't finished your manuscript, then what I'm about to say doesn't apply to you. Because if you publish a poorly edited book, you can't be surprised when you receive negative reviews. And if you haven't finished your book yet, then you still have ways to go before you have to worry about negative reviews. And if a beta reader decides to be harsh with you about your work when your story isn't done yet, then they can go be mean somewhere else. Their opinion isn't constructive and doesn't matter. Okay, now that I've made that clear, let's talk about book reviews. Obviously, every writer hopes for positive book reviews. I don't think I need to explain why. We like when others like what we create. It's not rocket science. However, negative reviews are inevitable. You can't avoid them no matter how hard you try. Even if you're Shakespeare level of brilliant, you can't avoid negative reviews. Why? Well, remember what I said earlier? Writing is subjective. Not everyone has the same reading taste or the same writing style taste. A reader might pick up your book and another with a similar topic, and they might end up enjoying the other book but hate yours. Does that mean your writing is bad? Not necessarily. So many things go into the writing process. Voice, style, plot, character dynamics, they can all affect the reading experience. One reader might love the fact that you describe everything in detail, and another might hate it and wish you were more minimalist. One reader might be bothered if your story has romance, while another reader might be bothered if your story doesn't have romance. One reader might think that you rushed a romantic relationship, while another might claim that your book's romantic relationship is a slow burn. At the same time, not every reader is going to understand your vision. You might write a character in a certain way, and some readers will pick up on your intention, and others will question it. For example, when I was writing my antagonist Lucifer, the devil from Divinity Falling, I wanted to make sure he was devoid of anything good. Some beta readers suggested making him immoral to the point where he doesn't care about his actions because, well, he's the devil. So I made him a creep who would even hit on his own daughter. What could be more disturbing than that? It's the perfect trait for the devil. Many readers loved my take on the devil. But of course, I still received comments questioning this character finding the devil's lack of morals unbelievable. So, as you can see, you can't please everyone. I will say it again, writing is subjective. Now, will negative reviews hurt you? That depends. If the majority of reviews are negative, then that's a sign that your book didn't click with the public. Or maybe your book cover misled the wrong readers into thinking the book is for them. So that might hurt your book's success a bit and prevent more readers from giving it a shot. On the other hand, if the majority of reviews are positive but there are a couple of negative ones, then that's a good sign that you targeted the right demographic for your book. Your ideal readers were pleased with the book and that's what matters. The few people who didn't enjoy the book don't really matter. They didn't understand your vision or maybe their reading taste is different from yours. It happens, it's okay. What does matter is the majority of reviews. This will tell you if you did a good job. Now, if you do have a few negative reviews, you should see them as a blessing. For one, this shows that your book is legit. Basically, you didn't bribe people into reading your book. People wanted to read it. For two, negative reviews help you learn more about your book. They show you what didn't click with some readers and help you become a better writer. They also show you if, perhaps, you marketed the book to the wrong audience. If someone who loves action adventures reads your historical fiction and then complains that it didn't have enough action, then maybe you didn't target the right readers. So don't be hurt by negative reviews of this nature. They are actually beneficial for your book's success. So that's all I have for you today. I'm curious, if you have a published book, do you read your book's reviews or do you prefer to not look at them? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I put out weekly writing advice videos that will take your stories to the next level. 
Also, don't forget to follow me on social media to see what I'm up to from day to day and to chat with me. And before we go, I just want to give a quick shout out to Sarah Frain and Lori B from my shout outs here over on Patreon, as well as all my amazing patrons. Thank you all so much for your support. I appreciate it. And remember, no for presidents.